This is InfoLife TV Headline News, September 16th. I'm Margot Dutkevich. A passenger plane filled with foreign tourists, including Israelis, crashed Sunday in heavy rain on Thailand's tourist island of Phuket, leaving at least 88 dead. The foreign ministry in Jerusalem confirmed there are up to eight Israeli passengers on the plane. It is unclear if they were among the 42 taken to hospital. The British newspaper The Observer reported on Sunday that as many as eight F-15 and F-16 fighter jets participated in the Israeli flyover Syria. The report said the planes were equipped with Maverick heavy missiles and 500-pound bombs. And an electronic intelligence gathering aircraft escorted the planes. Prime Minister Hood Olmert on Sunday denied reports that Israel and the Palestinians were very close to signing a declaration of principles. We are talking about a joint statement which we hope will be the focus of the international summit in November. I will bring it to the government, he said. Israeli deterrence has been reinstated since the Second Lebanon War, and this is affecting the entire region, Military Intelligence Chief Major General Amos Yadlin told the Knesset Foreign Affairs and Defense Committee on Sunday. Yadlin also said that Hamas is planning a major attack in an attempt to derail the upcoming summit in Washington in November. U.S. President George Bush and his associates are seriously considering declaring war on Iran and have listed specific facilities that would be targeted in such an event. According to senior U.S. defense and intelligence officials, the Pentagon has gathered a list of up to 2,000 targets, including a major base run by the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Quds Force in the south. Yad Vashem, Jerusalem's Holocaust Museum and Memorial, is to receive this year's Prince of Astorius Award for Concord, given by the Spanish royal family. Other recipients include Israeli author Amos Oz. Elsewhere on InfoLive TV, Syria continues to refute cooperation with North Korea, but U.S. experts tell another story. And Dr. Yuda David, a reservist who volunteered to fight in the Second Lebanon War, was among soldiers awarded citations for bravery last week. Infolife.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? Infolife.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.